Hey guys, girls, everybody, how are we doing? It's Sean and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm doing okay. Um, today's video is all going to be about what's been going on and what the plans are moving forward. I know I've not uploaded anything since December and I do apologise for that. Um, there's just been a lot going on in, um, in life itself really and I just wanted to take this opportunity to try and set out doing what I, not even, that's just wrong what I just said. Shut up, Sean. I want to carry on doing what I set out to do when I started this channel. And that is to create content, to explain to people what happens during recovery, um, how life is, things like that, how you can get into recovery and what life's actually like uh, when you stop gambling um, and you come away from that addiction, so to speak. So just a quick update from me, folks. So this year has been pretty full on um, job wise. I am, I'm still with a co-op. Um, I am now I'm transitioning into a store uh, trainee manager, uh, which is really, really good. It's what I initially wanted. Um, but the way it all happened was kind of surreal. Um, so in April of this year, I actually found out that my position with the company was uh, becoming nil and void. So they were getting rid of all team managers throughout the company, which meant um, redundancy, really. Um, there was a couple of options that they gave to us um, when they spoke to us and put us through the um, like the like the conversations and like notification periods and all that type of things. So I sat down with my manager and he went through the options. So the first option was to take redundancy. So for me, that, that wasn't an option, uh, in all honesty. Second one was to uh, take a demotion uh, down to a supervisor level. Or the third one was to um, apply for the store manager training program. Um, so that's what I done. I applied for that program. Um, and I got past the initial screening and then got accepted for an interview um, with t uh, one area manager and one uh, manager from HR. Um, and then got feedback from that. I think I waited about five weeks after uh, my initial interview. And um, yeah, successfully got the position. Um, and I started that on the 3rd of October, so roughly in just over a month's time from seeing this video, folks, I will be doing my training for that. Um, another thing on the job side, I've actually become a retained firefighter. So um, once a week, every Tuesday, we go and train at our local fire station, and I'm also on call um, should anything happen um, with that. Um, Personally wise, um, got back into refereeing this year with football being allowed to be played, which was absolutely fantastic. Another great way for me to spend my time and not concentrate on the past or anything like that. Um, got fit, sadly ended up pulling up with an injury um, near the end of July um, and been hampered with that since. So I've put all my games um, back to the league. Um, so no more refereeing this season, sadly. Um, trying to stay as fit as I can for an upcoming training course that I've got to go away for for the fire service. So I don't want to be hampered by injury when I go away with that, even though it's not looking great at the moment. I'm still in a fair bit of pain, but hopefully today with the doctor's appointment, that will get sorted. Um, family life. Um, family life has been really good. Um, we actually got asked to do an article in our local newspaper regarding my gambling addiction because I went um, live with uh, STV News and done a story with them about gambling addiction. So that was the Scottish uh, news that we'd done that with. Um, it was just a small story on what gambling addiction and lockdown were like. Um, and. I put it into a perspective from somebody who's recovering from gambling instead of somebody who is currently gambling. So it was a different um, perspective um, from what they initially wanted, but they requested that anyway, which was really good. I really enjoyed um, putting the pieces together for them. Um, so there was no 
actual people up from SCB or anything like that doing interviews or anything. Um, it was just me and one of my friends that um, assist with the filming and stuff like that, which is really that. good. That's okay, Siri. Don't worry. You don't need to get it. <laughs> nice interruption there. Um, and yeah, and then there was a... Um, after that had been released, um, obviously, it, you can't go more public than that. Um, our local newspaper asked if I would do a, a story. Well, not a story, but... Um, kind of give information on what happened and stuff like that. So um, we done that, and that got released um, a couple of months ago. Um, a lot of people asking a lot of questions, as you could imagine, but um, asking the right questions. Um, so not being too intrusive and you know being stupid and saying that you know how how on earth did you manage to fall into that and you know only idiots become gambling addicts and so on and so forth. You know, thankfully I've not had any of that um which has been fantastic um a lot of support um a lot of supportive messages and stuff like that which is really good so um that's my update folks i hope all of you are doing well i know it's been a tough year and a half uh, nearly two years now with um covid and lockdowns and everything like that and trying to get back to normal living um uh, it's going to be difficult but you know we're not we're not stuck in a rut. We don't need to be. There's ways and means of getting out of that. Um, if any of you are struggling at the moment, please drop a comment. Come and contact me over on Twitter um, at SeanBurn87. Um, we can we can have a conversation. You know, I can give you some help, advice, and things like that. So don't feel that you're on your own, guys. Um, drop messages in here. I'm more than willing to speak away to you and help you out wherever I can. So folks, there will be some new content coming up soon about loads of random topics and about my journey in recovery, uh, past and present and what I have planned for the future. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, folks. If you have done, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will see you all shortly. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.